Okay, so if you notice, there's a little indent on the top of your mushroom. Okay, yeah, that's the middle, okay? So we're gonna take the white stick. Okay, and we're gonna use the white paint. And you're just gonna place it right in the middle like that. So main thing for mandala art is you want to make sure that your art is as symmetrical as possible. Okay, so the trick that I use for that, so I place a dot and then I look right across from it. Right across from it. So we're using the white twirly, bigger end. Okay, so you're just going to put two dots across each other like that. Okay, so once you have two, those two dots, you're going to try and find the center of those and put it like that. And then put a dot across that one. So you have like this north, south, east, west. After you have that, we're just going to place one more dot in between those. Oh, so next step, we're going to use the white twirly again, bigger end, with the red paint, and we're just going to put a dot in between the yellow ones, like that. Above, but in between. So next step, we're going to use the blue twirly, bigger end, with the orange paint. And we're gonna put it above the yellow ones. And which size? What? Bigger end of the blue twirly. Okay, so next step, we're gonna use the pink twirly with the white paint. And we're gonna put two little white dots in between the orange ones. Yes. Next step, we're going to use the light purple stick. Okay, we're going to use the yellow paint. And we're just going to put a dot above the two little white ones like that. Next step, we're going to use the pink twirly. Okay, so we're, we're going to be walking the dots around these yellows, okay? So we're going to use the red paint. Big side first. So big side for this first top dot, and you can do that all the way around on each of the yellows. And then you'll switch to the smaller end of the pink and walk the dot on one side. Redip. The smaller end for the, the smaller dots. Yes, and then do the other side like that. Next step, we're going to use the pink twirly tool again. Big end? Big end, yeah. So we're going to be walking the dots again. Okay, so bigger end, the orange paint, and then you'll do that all the way around and then switch to the smaller end and walk the dots. Next step, we're going to use the pink twirly again, smaller end with the white paint. So you're going to start in the middle of the two, we're going to go one way, pink twirly. There it 
gonna meet in the middle again and go the other way. So next step, we're gonna use the little yellow stick. With the yellow paint and we're gonna put a dot right there in between next step we're gonna use the lavender stick the light purple with the red paint and we're gonna put it over the yellow ones. Which Next, we're gonna use the pink twirly with the white paint. And so we're gonna be walking the dots with the white. So bigger end for that first top dot. And then you'll switch to the smaller end to walk the dots. So next step, we're going to use the white twirly. We're going to be walking the dots again with the orange. So as usual, bigger end for that first top dot and then smaller end to walk around. Next step, we're gonna put the mushroom top aside and we're gonna work on the stem. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do like this border. We're gonna use the yellow stick with the darker brown paint. And you're just gonna go all the way around the bottom of the stem, placing dots. Now it should, when you come around to the other side, it should fit perfectly. So try to keep the spacing in between the dots the same. Okay, so next we're gonna use the same size, the ye yellow stick, and we're gonna use the lighter brown, and we're gonna put it in between like that and go all the way around.
If you want to add a little more detail to your stem, like I did on this one, I added little dots in between. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna come back to the lid of the mushroom. Okay, so we're gonna take the white twirly tool with the yellow paint and we're gonna walk the dots. So bigger end for that first top dot. Okay, so white paint, I'm gonna use so the blue bigger for the first dot and then white bigger to walk the dots. Oh, okay. Next step, we're gonna take the white twirly, the bigger end with the white red paint, and I'm just putting a dot right there in between. With the orange paint, so you're gonna leave some room, and then you'll take the pink twirly and drag down to the red. Next, we're gonna be overlapping some dots, okay? So we're gonna take the lavender stick, okay, with the red paint, and you're just gonna over dot that middle one. Make sure to still leave a sliver of the white though. You don't wanna completely over dot it. So next, we're gonna take the blue twirly, the bigger end with the red paint, and we're gonna do the same thing to these yellow ones. And then you'll switch to the smaller end of the blue and do these little yellow dots. Last step, we're gonna take the blue twirly again, big side with the yellow paint, and we're gonna do it on these red dots.